So good morning, Colorado. We're taking a live look outside from Red Rocks this morning. Blue skies and lots of sunshine this morning. Time is 8-11. Let's toss things over to meteorologist Sam Postich with a look on our weekend forecast. Sam, yeah. it's been nice outside for, the, yeah. for several weeks. Yeah, I mean, uh, record high times earlier. And today's fantastic. Yeah. The only thing we have to keep in mind is tomorrow. If you have any plans, it's going to be a windy one. Okay. Yeah. Wind's going to be howling up at the higher elevations. I'm thinking 70 mile an hour gusts just off of the west of Denver on I-70 tomorrow. So if you drive around a light high profile vehicle, there's going to be a blowover risk into the high country for tomorrow. Here's your Parkview Health Systems camera looking south into downtown Pueblo. Just a great start to the day on Highway 50 and nothing on the radar. Stand dry, not just today, but also for the rest of the weekend and the start of next week. It's Tuesday when we could be seeing a few light flurries on I-25. I'm not really thinking any significant accumulation for Colorado Springs or down in Pueblo Tuesday. Really the places that have to be uh, worried about tricky traveling Monday night and Tuesday morning, that's west of the Continental Divide. So even Monarch Pass and into Gunnison, those are really the spots to look at. 39 degrees right now, Walsenburg, low 30s. Colorado Springs, we're already starting to warm up nicely. Should touch about 60 today. Uh, 58 degrees in Fountain, low 40s. Cripple Creek and high 50s up in Monument. 59 degrees, Pueblo, 61. Colorado City, Canyon City at 62. and. Custer County, fantastic, into the upper 50s. Temperatures similar uh, on the eastern side of Highway 50, low 60s today. So uh, today's forecast, most of us pushing about 10 degrees above average, 54 in Alamosa, 66 up in Denver, as that's one of the warm spots uh, for the forecast period. And then the winds haven't really started up yet. I-80 up in Wyoming is already getting a bit breezy near Laramie. Not so much uh, Colorado Springs at six miles an hour. But once we hit the overnight hours, late tonight, early tomorrow, high wind watches out there. The National Weather Service hasn't posted any high wind warnings yet, but I wouldn't be shocked to be seeing those upgraded by some point this afternoon. Really just off of the west of I-25, uh, up across I-70, and then the northern portion of Park County. And even though Highway 24 is not included in that high wind watch in Park County, it's going to be windy tomorrow uh, if you're traveling into Chafee County or Teller County. Uh, gusts up to about 40 miles an hour in some of those spots tomorrow. Here's 6 p.m. tonight. Single digit winds, Pueblo, Colorado Springs. You're getting those down sloping drainage winds in Canyon City. That's typical uh, for the overnight hours. And this is where your winds really start to pick up some of those higher elevations after midnight tonight. And if you look very closely just off to the west of Colorado Springs, some of these shades of green and yellow, uh, indicative of 30 mile an hour gusts, which could be uh, headed into Monument briefly at times overnight tonight. Then for tomorrow, about 20, 25 mile an hour gusts, Colorado Springs, some stronger winds down in Pueblo in Walsenburg. And that's why you're under uh, some of those fire weather watches, actually Pueblo County and down south to the New Mexico border tomorrow because because of the winds and low relative humidities. And it's all because of the moisture up uh, across the northern portions of the Great Plains. It's not bringing any precipitation with it, unfortunately, because we're still under this drought in central Colorado, but it is bringing uh, stronger winds and cooler temperatures. This is what the front's going to look like for tomorrow morning, just finally getting into northern Colorado through the morning hours, then crossing through the state pushing those northerly winds our way then the cooler temperatures get to us on Monday and next week is going to feel drastically different than what we dealt with last week 39 degrees for your Monday up in Woodland Park those are temperatures we're used to seeing in December 38 degrees for Fremont County with partly cloudy skies I did knock down those precipitation chances on Tuesday for valley locations as we're not going to get a whole lot. Uh, Pueblo only at 10%, really just a light flurry for about half an hour maybe on Tuesday, and that's me being optimistic. Our best chance for any snow accumulation, that's coming on Friday. We'll take another peek at the seven days in just a bit. Kershaw. All right, thank you, Sam. For the first time.